What is up, y'all? It is your boy Kirk here, aka Vandal. We're in here in the studio and we're going to talk through something that I think is a game changer for producers who are learning how to arrange. What's up, y'all? It is your boy Kirk here, aka Vandal. We are in here in the studio and we're gonna talk about arrangement stuff. But if you're new here, just consider subscribing, tips, tricks, tutorials, all that good stuff to help you become a better producer in today's marketplace. Okay, so I was listening to this song on Spotify and, and it was on this one of the Spotify editorial playlists and I was just like, yo man, like I, I wanna get a song on there. And I remember hearing from another YouTuber who does like lo-fi stuff, shout out to that guy, I forgot your name, but you're dope. Um, and, I, and I checked out your stuff. And he was like, he actually did this one thing where he listened to the songs on, on the playlist and then he dissected what the arrangement was like and what the elements were like in there and then he made a song just like it and that in theory will give you a higher chance of getting a song on our spotify editorial playlist because it sounds like another song it fits in the playlist so uh what i did was i was listening to this playlist and i was like man i really like this song it's a really dope vibe and um i think i want to arrange one of my songs that way so what i did was i listen to that song on Spotify and then I mapped out what that song, how that song was arranged inside of Logic using these markers. You're probably like, Kirk, how do I do this? How do I get these markers into place? How do you have it there? Why is it called EDM pop arrangement? Look, I'm going to explain all that stuff right here. So there's this thing called the list editor inside of Logic and it's right here in the top. If you click on this, there you go. List editor that comes up. You can also press the D key to pull that up. So this list editor here, there's a verse that was four bars. There's a verse that, that with the drums that came in, another four bars. This is important that I broke it up this way. And then there's a pre-chorus with the drop bass in it. And then the short build and then, the, you know, vocal drop, vocal drop. And then like the piano comes in there. And then this is me just taking notes on the song, right? And very, very, very sparse notes. And then, then I go back into a, a verse, which is about eight and then it's a verse with full drums and all that stuff. Then pre-chorus with the clap, pre-chorus pre with the build, and then drop and, and chorus uh, with the clap, a chorus build, and then a drop again. So these sections, they probably make like sort of some sense if you've made any kind of like EDM music. This makes kind of sense. It's actually a really cool tip to actually help you be more efficient. So uh, what I did also too is after I was done with all of these, making sure that they're all perfect, I went here and I renamed it so that I could pull it up again in a later session if I wanted to. So I don't have to think about arrangement for the next session. I could just pull this up and kind of like at least have an idea of where to start. I know what it's like to get stuck in an eight bar loop. So this is one of those ways that you can actually get out of an eight bar loop and uh, help you kind of just arrange the song pretty quickly. And, and if you put notes in there, you can notice that things repeat a lot in music and that's just the nature of music. So anyway, if you guys are really interested in this kind of stuff, I'm pumped that you're here. Thank you for watching. And if you want to grow even more, and if you, even if you want to just like catch up on a Zoom call, check out the link below to schedule a coaching call. And then also, uh, if you really want to dive in, check out the link below for the masterclass. Hope these videos are really helping out. Pumped that you guys are here. Catch you in the next video.